Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me. It's Poet WP. Um, today, uh, as I was perusing my stock of poems, um, I came back to when I was in my early 20s. I think I was 23 or 24. I wrote a uh, three volumes of poetry. I wrote three volumes of poetry that I was very confident in and stood by. Um, even to this day, I think there's a lot of good work in there. Um, although some of it was a little presumptuous and pretentious. And a little too bold for its own good. But anyway, this is one of the more neutral volumes of the three that I wrote in that extensive period of uh, personal growth creatively. Um, <laughs> you know, originally I thought of these as like kind of like haikus, but then it didn't really... Because they're a bunch of collection of short poems, right? Just a few lines per poem. But um, technically they don't fit the form of haiku, so I had to strike haikus and... So it's called Crackling Short Pieces of Eye-Cornered Stipulation. <laughs> See, I would never name, in fact, I'm tempted to call it something else. And I may call it something else in the title because that's a goddamn clunky-ass title, man. That's See, at this point, I was fresh out of college for the first time. <laughs> and... um my mind, I was, had tons of lit literature classes and poetry classes, and my mind was chocked full of verbose, flowery words that I really wanted to. <laughs> they were in the forefront of my mind, right? So I was trying to like boom, like these big, clunky. They have, they don't have proper flow. Crackling short pieces of eye cornered stipulation. Stipulation. That's that's a word that doesn't belong in poetry too much. Very rare to use that. The eye cornered thing, that's cool, but uh, it's just too clunky. Anyway, I'm rambling on about my stupid title choices when I was a young pretentious fool. Let's read some of the poetry of the young pretentious fool. fool. I'm your lover, I'm your zero. <laughs> This is the first one, okay. Let the powers of infinity dredge you in its silence. Like a lot of this is like deep fortune cookie kind of shit. <laughs> okay, here's another one. One, okay, this is kind of like, speaks to the Bernie Sanders part of me. One progressive step, it never ends. Cleanse yourself of the world and make amends. Here's another one. The power to believe in everything, but seek nothing but yourself. Here's another one. O oh, million eyes of demise, your cold-blooded impulse holds me to, pulls me through. Then I metamorphosize you, and you become me. There's, an, there's another one. Uh, the, the depraved tragedies of old never taper their voids. Only the luminescence of your light can, can you see the path that has chosen you even before they understand what you were. And then here's the last one for this page. The delaying of souls teetering on multiple worlds. How many perspectives do you allow your days to be deciphered in? So yeah, I was getting off into some transcendental type shit, you know, at this point in my life. This is where the full transcendental path dawned on me, like at the age of 22, 23. Like I like really hit hardcore and like I've been on it ever since and now I'm 37. So... But, uh, and it's not been an easy path, let me tell you. There's no conventional 
part of the world you can fit into when I'm on this when you're on this kind of path that I'm on. Which makes it uh you know, it's not for everybody. You gotta have a really strong heart. Anyway, I won't just ramble on endlessly about my own plight in life. That's not why you tuned in. You tuned in to hear a poem. Well, this is the first part part of this series. It's got, I don't know, like 16 pages or something. Maybe 10. I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, uh, that's page one. And then I'll do page two and then until I get to the end of this chapter that I wrote a long time ago. Okay, thanks for joining me. Catch you next time. Okay.